Did Joey deserve a better ending for his character? This is the nagging question all Joey Tribbiani fans have even now, 16 years after Friends ended. And more importantly, what would be the perfect end to Joey's storyline in Friends? Hi, I'm Clive, and let's try to answer these questions together. Hakuna Matata, Joey! Rachel, Ross, Phoebe, Monica, and Chandler, all of them had a happy ending in Friends. They got married, moved to new places, and some of them got kids. Adult life, you know. But none of these happened for Joey. Why not? Why did the showrunners deprive the funniest and sweetest man of his own happy ending? We have at least three theories why. The first one is all about Joey being a bit of a controversial character. How would you describe him? A kid in an adult body that never changes. Works pretty great for Joey Tribbiani, huh? If you take a look at him at the beginning and at the end of Friends, you will see the very same man in the very same position in life. And even still living in the same apartment. Which means Joey as a character remained the same during all 10 seasons. He didn't have the will to change at all. Well, yes, he went through some memorable experiences that had an impact on him. Like, for example, he was able to feel what real love is. Thank you, Rachel. Joey also improved his acting skills. Picture? What picture? <laughs> like spitting at a partner is any better a technique than smelling the fart acting. Your sister is suffering from a... <laughs> but nothing really affected his way of living. Wait, is that a legal move in drama and comedy? Because all characters in a story should change, right? Not necessarily. Either way, we still adore Joey, no matter what. His passion for food, women, and an unchanging, easygoing lifestyle became his unique trademark. And if a character still remains interesting and lovable for the audience, then not giving him a dramatic arc is 100% allowed. Joey's motto can be easily described in the iconic words of Timon and Pumbaa. Hakuna Matata. No matter what happens, most of the time, Joey remains positive. <laughs> I'm not even sorry. <laughs> and calm. How can you not care? Like this. <laughs> he never really wanted anything bigger than Hakuna Matata. And he never received that. Right? But what if the showrunners packed something deeper into Joey's character? What if they wanted Joey to face the realistic consequences of his lifestyle? This leads us to our second theory. Grow up, Joey! A man in his 30s who has never had a serious relationship, doesn't pay his bills, and has no plans for the future. I'm Joey. <laughs> I'm disgusting. We all know at least one guy like that in real life, right? Now, what normally happens with this type of person? Is there a happy ending for them? Not likely. So maybe the Friends creators wanted to show the situation realistically? Because everything has its own price. Even Hakuna Matata. But hey, the showrunners didn't make Joey suffer. He ended okay. Not wildly happily, but he's going to be just fine. He even got his own room in Monica and Chandler's new house. So maybe Joey's fine is the only happy ending he can get? Single, but fine. Yeah, this may sound a bit depressing. That's why we have another theory about Joey's ending, which is all about his secret mission on Friends. Joey is a Cupid! Okay, Ross was married thrice. Monica and Rachel were in several serious relationships during the 10 seasons. Freakish Phoebe gave birth to three babies and managed to find a romantic match too. Even Chandler got married and had twins. How then does such a heartthrob, macho type like Joey end up alone? Isn't it impossible for a man with that much charisma to not find at least someone? Hey, how you doing? Well, actually, this is a very realistic scenario for a character like Joey. Cause most mature women won't ever want to spend their lives with such an easygoing person, right? Seems like Joey was never meant to be a family guy. But you know what? Maybe that was for a good reason. Maybe Joey Tribbiani had another much more important role than finding his true love. How about matching couples? Yeah! Imagine Joey Tribbiani as friends Cupid! because he's indeed mashed at least three of his best friends. Accidentally, but still. Firstly, he was an important key element in Chandler and Monica hooking up in London. Remember, Monica was super depressed after she was called Ross's mother on that wedding evening? She felt so horrible that she decided to have sex with Joey. But when Monica knocked on his hotel room door, he wasn't there. Chandler was. 
So, to some degree or another, we can say that things ended happily for Monica and Chandler because of Joey. Joey also protected Monica and Chandler's relationship as much as possible. There's no way you will forget the episode where everyone found out about them. And even more than that, Joey also officiated Monica and Chandler's wedding. Another example of Joey being an accidental Cupid is about Phoebe and Mike. Do you remember how things started for the couple? Joey and Phoebe agreed to have a dinner where they would bring a date for each other. Phoebe kept her word, but Joey, of course, didn't. That's why he improvised, finding a random guy in Central Perk and bringing him on the date with Phoebe. He found Mike. But what were the chances that things would work out for Mike and Phoebe? Unbelievable, right? And again, Joey officiated their wedding, too. Aside from all of the above, Joey is always ready to give good advice regarding relationships. And he also protects his friends from bad matches. Like, do you remember how against Janice he was? He did his best to convince both Ross and Chandler not to date her. Joey is more than a Cupid. He's a guardian angel of his friends' romances. In a way, Joey was the contrast that helped you see the transformation of the other characters. And that was his secret mission on the show. But as soon as he helped all of his friends, his mission was done in New York, and he could move forward in his own life. That's what the spinoff was about. Did you guys watch it? Was Joey's spinoff a failure? Oh yes it was! All of you out there would say it once. But maybe there were at least some touches in episodes that helped us to understand Joey's character better? Nope. Uh, unfortunately not. That's what happens when the original writers David Crane and Marta Kaufman aren't involved. After the events shown in the 10th season of Friends, Joey moved to LA in order to improve his acting career. But instead of developing Joey's character, the new showrunners changed him and made him completely different from the good old Joey we knew. In Friends, he was always optimistic about things. Hakuna Matata! But in the spinoff, he unexpectedly becomes depressing. Another weird thing about the spinoff is that Joey doesn't mention too much about his friends from New York, which is ridiculous. His character always had a protective love towards everyone in the gang. There's no way good old Joey would forget his friends that fast. All of the above, plus the complete absence of the rest of the five characters, led to the series failing. Joey was cancelled after the second season. It was a true failure for everyone, the showrunners and the audience. But do you know who it wasn't a failure for? Matt LeBlanc. And his $30 million paycheck is the perfect proof of that. I'd like another one of those failures, LeBlanc joked. How things should have ended for Joey? Now, as long as we all have the freedom of imagination, let's think of the best scenarios that could have happened to Joey. There are at least three such scenarios. Let's start with the most obvious one. Joey could have been with Phoebe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw several moments where things could have changed romantically for Joey and Phoebe. That's what everybody expected from the series. The two most freaky and childlike characters had to be together. But that was also something that the show creators really tried to avoid doing. According to David Crane, such an ending for Joey and Phoebe would be too tidy and too complete. When your goal is to keep the six characters and stories together, it would be really easy to go down that road, but I think we all felt it would be a mistake," Crane explained. Well, at least it wouldn't have left Joey so lonely at the end of season 10. There were also those heartless fans who wanted Joey to be together with Rachel. But that plotline was so lame that we won't even spend a second discussing it. It would have destroyed the show's biggest romance and made Ross unhappy. So no way Joey and Rachel should have been together. What else could have happened to Tribbiani? The second theory is about Joey's huge passion – to become a famous actor. Yes! Joey ended up single, so then why not at least make him famous and rich? He could have starred in some big movie with big actors and producers involved, and that would be a huge turning point in his acting career. Because Joey started with stupid advertisements, then proceeded to do even more stupid soap operas, so he definitely earned something bigger than that. He deserved Hollywood! Admit it, it would be fairer for Joey if after season 10, he moved to LA, not like a loser actor, but like a star. And the third possible ending we'd love for Joey is an existential one. What if Joey would have finally realized that he never took himself or his life seriously? Time is moving on, and he needs to use it wisely, like an adult. In this scenario, he wouldn't have moved to LA to become an actor. Instead, he would move to the place where he came from to Italy. Picture Joey sailing into the sunset on his yacht with a dream to become a better self. Or he could open a pizzeria there, or maybe a sandwich restaurant, because he often emphasized how much his Italian ancestry meant to him. What an ending that would be! 
Maybe you guys have your own ideas about how things should have ended for Joey Tribbiani, or maybe you think everything was settled just right in the series? Share your thoughts in the comments! Thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel, and just as always, thank you for staying awesome!